What's going on YouTube, GSNorid here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for the check rain to be updated, and of course today we have a new check rain release. The jailbreak has been updated to version 0.9.7, which is currently available for macOS, but we have important news for the Linux version as well, and it's closer than you think. Anyways, let's see what's new in this version and whether you should update to it or not. The check rain account posted quote, check rain 0.9.7 for macOS with iOS 13.3 support and a few bug fixes is now available. As you're probably aware, iOS 13.3 is currently the latest version available, released on December 10, so just four days ago. But anyways, iOS 13.2.3 is still signed and if you are running on an iPhone XS, XS Max or XR or an iPhone 11, I would definitely recommend it to stay below 13.3. However, if you have an iPhone X or lower, definitely update to 13.3, it fixes a lot of bugs and is now officially supported by the check rain jailbreak, which means that if you have an iPhone 5 to the iPhone 10 and everything in between, you can jailbreak the latest version available right now. Now, if you take a look in here, the download for macOS is available and it says in here, quote, bug fixes. It fixes an issue which prevented the GUI from detecting changes in device modes. Now, this is actually an important bug fix because if the application cannot detect the fact that you are in a proper mode for jailbreaking, then your device will not get jailbroken. And then it says in here, fixes an issue that caused the GUI to hang when jailbreaking some iPad models. So basically the same problem with the GUI, which is basically the graphical user interface of the application. Now aside from these, we have another important landmark for this jailbreak. This beta adds the initial Apple TV 4K support. So with this in here, you can finally jailbreak the Apple TV 4K. There is a known issue, however, it says in here the Apple TV 4K will produce a minus 20 error, even on a successful jailbreak, but that's a known issue and you can jailbreak even with that error. Now, another thing it adds, purges OTA updates on boot, add support for 13.3, which we discussed, remove Levi mobile device as a dependency, properly handle situations when there's no internet connection available while bootstrapping tvOS, and of course, add a control center shortcut for the tvOS loader app. Now, these are the changes for the moment, and if you're interested in getting the jailbreak, you should definitely check it out in here. The download is available only for macOS for the moment, however, a Linux version is about to come out. Nikias Basin posted quote, Linux rain forecast. We're currently checking best ways to package distribute check rain for seamless user experience. Stay put. So apparently they're working very, very hard on actually getting the uh, check rain to work on Linux. And apparently they're looking for a package and distribution way. So it looks like the check rain is mostly available at this point for Linux. It just needs to be released in a proper way. Now, this is actually very important because macOS may not run on any computer. In fact, it's made to only work on Apple devices, but some people got it working with Hackintoshes and VMs and so on. But anyways, Linux is actually pretty much universal. You can run it on most of the computers available, including on a Mac, on your laptop or on your PC with no problem. You can dual boot, install CheckRain, and even keep your Windows if you have Windows. There is no need to replace your Windows on your computer with Linux. Linux actually gives you the option to boot it from a USB flash drive and then of course when you disconnect the flash drive you're back to Windows so you don't even need to replace your operating system which is actually quite good. So if you get a Linux version of the CheckRain jailbreak that's actually incredible because this means that anybody can run it at that point. However that will be in the near future. For the moment CheckRain is only available for macOS and of course if you're running a Hackintosh that would do as well. If you're running an older version of the CheckRain jailbreak and you want to update your jailbreak to the latest version, then you can definitely download the application in here and jailbreak once with it. At that point, your jailbreak will be updated to the latest version available. Also check out your Cydia after jailbreak for any updates to the packages. As I said, this works for the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10, for the iOS 12.3 all the way up to the latest version available, which is currently 13.3. And of course, it also works for 13.2.3, 13.2.2, 13.2, 13.3, all the way down to 13.0 in here. But yeah, the a12 devices are currently not supported and as I said this version adds support for the first time for the Apple TV 4k so yeah enjoy your jailbreak I'm Geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out